everyone, Kari will be here with Anne Campion and Team Amation. Today we are going to talk about the movie Downton Abbey. Not only are we going to talk about it, we are going to spoil it. So if you haven't seen the movie and you don't want to be spoiled, this is the point where I say stop, collaborate, and listen. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, stop and then come back later and then let us know what your thoughts are. Right, Waka? Anyway, so... Uh, let's talk about the positives and then we'll talk about the negatives and yeah, let's go from there. Positives. Sure. Uh, when did Downton end? Do you remember what year? I think 2015. Four, four years ago? Yeah. So I think for a TV show that had several seasons and then has been away for several years and now coming with a feature film, I would say just overall positive is that it just felt like it was yesterday that we were watching yeah. Downton. Um, it, uh, all the characters were familiar for us because we followed the show. The story was very basic, but it was, you know, very easy to follow. And both of us were wondering if somebody who wasn't familiar with Downton would have gone the storyline in which case I think, I think so. they would. I think they would. Yeah. And it was just really nice to see everybody back together again. Yes, I agree. And I also think they did a really good way of tying everything in. So if this is the very last time we see Downton, I would be fine with. Whereas yeah. even at the series end of the TV show, it felt like something was missing. Because I think they yeah. ended with a Christmas special as well. And there was like, wait, well, what was going to happen here? Here. But they really closed it off pretty nicely. Yeah. Um, it agree. was just really nice to see all the characters that we fell in love with through those years mm -hmm. and to see them have their ending or rather to see a, a, a continuation of their story in such a positive way. Yeah. And I was fearful that it was going to be like Sex and the City because I watched that show and I loved that show and when we saw the movie we were like, this is complete trash, but I'm seeing it because we're just dying mm. for any affiliation to the movie, I mean to the TV show. Right. I think that was the hope. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, Wal Walk is traveling, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, any other positives? I mean, there's a lot, but. God, I think, um, Shining star is Waka. always going to be Maggie Smith. <laughs> I think she just any oh. scene that she was in, it was just oh, oh, her, oh, oh, her, oh. her line. All her lines were hilarious. Um, yeah, I think Maggie Smith for me was kind of the the. A She's plus. always a scene stealer and a, alongside um, her cousin that I think it's or Grantham's cousin. Yes, that she never gets along with her bestie, bestie gets along friend with, of me. Like, front of me yeah they like love each other and i know it just doesn't change and i love that yeah i love also the new characters and you po you pointed out it was like harry potter all over again i know right? so that lady we hated yeah i didn't she, hate her that much and in the in the movie i sorry we don't have the name of the people but she they the, she played her cousin in downton yeah she was that bitchy teacher in uh, oh, harry me. potter like Dolores Umbridge. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, very nice. That was nice. actually perfect. Very nice. I had to lock walk it down because she has a pigtail, so she keeps like looking at <laughs> all these wires, and I'm like really scared. But anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would say that's positive. So about any positives. negatives? Um, I mean, another positive I really liked was uh, oh, yeah. John. I love John. Sorry, Ms. Tom. Tom Barrow. Not Tom. What's his name? Mr. Tom. Barrows. Yeah. His name was Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Barrows' story. Yeah. Um, because he was living at, in a point where he couldn't be himself mm -hmm. and I loved that and I loved how everyone really wanted to serve the king and queen of England yeah so they did some evil doing to be able to do that that was great it was so cool <laughs> it was nice to see everybody kind of team up <laughs> for once because in the old Downton or at least the TV show there were always quarrels between the servants yeah, but it's nice to see everyone kind of band together. Yes. They feel like a family now. Yeah, it, it it absolutely felt like a family. Yeah. Um, any negatives? I would say, I can't really think of any. Or maybe I was just on a high of like seeing it come back together, and I think everyone tied their stories really well. Yeah. They didn't have any loose ones at all. Yeah. I mean, if I was going crazy nitpicky, and this is me that I, I honestly don't even mind was. What was really the point of the king almost getting Same. killed? That was going to be my one minute uh, as well. I mean, it's fine. I, I think they were trying to make it very clear to the audience that Tom, um, not Tom, uh, Branson. Yeah, it is, is Tom. That, oh, that's, that's his name too? Yeah, that's oh, okay. like, <laughs> Thomas. That Tom um, was siding with the family rather than his country. Yeah. Um, but it just seems so pointless to me. Yeah. That's true. That's probably what it was. That he was like not just an Irish, 
independent. But the guy, the guy who was trying to assassinate the king, got very close to Tom. He was annoying. But I still don't. Yeah, I think if anything, that was the weakest plot point. Yeah, I think I think so as well. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I guess uh, if you have to like Princess Mary, was that her name? Or Kira, Kira, whatever. The princess and her oh, relationship right. issue with her husband was right. quite secondary, but right. I guess it was just to emphasize that Branson has a magic touch. Right, but, yeah, yeah I, I agree. Yeah. I'm sure. It, yeah, I would say that was also not unnecessary, but... Unnecessary yeah. in a way. Anyways, I, I guess just we have a lot of positives about it. It's overall a great movie. You gotta mm -hmm. go see it whether you've seen... Uh, Downton Abbey in the past or you have not it's definitely a fun movie just to kind of kick back and enjoy the sarcasm the wit yeah um, it's well written and it's um, you'll, you'll be sad when it's over but happy that you saw it you know what I mean yeah I agree. yeah it's a feel-good movie yeah for sure. absolutely it's probably gonna win box office this weekend I know over Rambo and Isn't Ad Astra crazy who would have thought Brad I thought Pitt Sylvester Stallone but yet here we go I thought it would be just be me and Anne, like Maggie Smith. Maggie Smith. I don't know. But yeah, we should mention we saw it in a packed theater. Packed, and they were all dressed up. And it was so cute because there so were so cute. many women that came, like in, in groups, and they were all cosplaying. And, yeah. Um, it was just a nice feeling. They were cheering. You normally don't hear cheering at the beginning of a movie, yes. so there were some really super fans in there with us. Yes. So it was nice. It felt really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us for a quick review of Downton Abbey, the movie. We're about to go play Downton Abbey, the clue game. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, you can follow us at Team Amazion anywhere, and you can follow... At Ann Campia. And you can follow me at K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S, and you can follow Wakame at underscore Wakame-chan. <laughs> she loved the movie, too. She loved the movie. <laughs> She's ready for some peanut butter right now, though. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you later. Bye.